welcome to the final of the third part series on behaviour. Um, so we've looked at encouraging on task behaviours, then we looked at what to do if a child goes off task. And then in this part, we're looking at behaviour schemes. So this is my eighth year teaching, so I've used many, many different schemes over those years. Um, your school should have one agreed policy that runs from maybe in Key Stage 1, Key Stage 2 or all the way through. Um, that's not always the case, which often means teachers end up doing their own thing. So if that's you and you're stuck for ideas, then here's some to consider. Or maybe you're part of your senior leadership team and you're deciding what your school's going to use. So here's some examples and some food for thought. So the first one is the rainbow, sun, cloud and thunder. So these tend to be big pictures which have the child's name on pegs or um, something similar and the children will all start on the sunshine and then they move up or down depending on their behaviour during the day. So for example, a child works really hard, does an amazing piece of work, their name goes up to the rainbow or a child has a warning and then continues to break the rule, they move down to the cloud and then maybe even down to the thunder. Um, so if they get onto the rainbow, they normally will get some kind of prize. It will usually be at the end of the day because they were on the rainbow at the end of the day. So it might be a, um, a little reward or a team point, something like that. If they're on the cloud or the thunder, then there may be a consequence like they miss some of their playtime. So the strengths of this is it's, it's very visual and the children enjoy moving their own peg when they've... Um, being directed by the teacher. Parents also have a really clear indication of how their child has done at school that day, as, as often my children would go out and say, their parents, first thing they'd say to them is, where did you get to today? And they'd say, oh, I was on the rainbow today, or I was on the sunshine today. Um, so that was really good. There were many negatives to this one. I used this one for about a year, I think. Um, children would also recall to their parents where, who was on the thunder. So they'd come out, and the parents say, oh, where did you get? And the child would say, oh, I was on the sunshine. Who was on the thunder? That would be their parents. And so the children would be like, oh, this person, this person on the thunder. Oh, why were they on the thunder? And, you know, and then this whole conversation happens, which really shouldn't be happening. And it hasn't got nothing to do with them. And then those poor parents that hear that their child was on the thunder and the other parents know, you know, it just, it wasn't helpful for parent relationships or for the children's relationships. Um, also the problem with this was that you used, because everyone started on the sunshine you'd find those children that quietly did their right thing all day um, would stay on the sunshine and those children who were normally not very well behaved and, and were doing all right would end up on the rainbow because you noticed them that much more and so then it, it wasn't fair to those that were consistently doing the right thing so you can kind of see what I think about that one um, by what I've said. One that's quite similar to this, but with some different adjustments, which make, I think, one of the best ones is the behaviour ladders. So I've seen these in many, many schools. I use this one for about a year as well. So it's similar to the rainbow one, which I've kind of used earlier. Um, and you have a ladder and at the top you have like an A4 sheet you've laminated, which is gold. And then everyone has different amounts on their ladder but then you might have a green and then you might have an amber and then a red and so the children again have all their names on it and they move up and down um the strength for this one is rather than starting on the green which is equivalent to the sunshine they start on the gold so everyone starts on the top point and what this means is if that child is consistently good all day and you haven't noticed them they're still going to be on the gold at the end and so you will then notice them and they will get their reward so that's what I like about this obviously you can do that with the rainbow one as well you can start them all on the rainbow um, but the rule that I have is that once they have come off of gold they cannot get back on it that day so everyone's on the gold someone does something wrong, they move down to the green, they cannot move up to gold that day. The gold is just for those people that all day long have done the right thing. I think that works far better to motivate those and it really praises those that you often miss. Um, you can make it a bit more subtle because the rainbows and everything tend to be quite big. If you have the ladder, you can make it a bit more subtle, put it in a more discreet place in your room so it's not so obvious to all the children who's on what at the end of the day. Um, obviously, you still have the same weaknesses with the rainbow that they do know. But I think it's um, having circle times and really discussing the importance of them looking at their own behaviour and those who did better than them, because those are the people that they need to be watching, because then they can learn what is it that they're doing, I'm not doing, they're the role models. So get them to focus on themselves and those above them and not to worry about um, 
the others quite so much unless it's for a specific focus of you buddying them in order to encourage and to um, reinforce positive um, rule reminders so I quite like that one then the third one is where you have um, a smiley face and a sad face on your whiteboard at the beginning of the day if a child does something really good you might put them their name under the smiley face and then that associates with a t point or uh, equivalent at the end of the day if a child's name goes on the sad face that's like their first warning if they continue to break the rules again they get a strike next to their name and we use it as then the third strike you're out kind of thing and then that means they lose some of their brain. Now research shows actually it's much more has much more of an impact if a child misses part of their break as opposed to all of it because if they miss all of it they've just got to sit there and not do very much if they miss part of it then they've got to go and reintegrate themselves into games that have already started and they're already you know on their on their way which is is a hard skill to have so um yeah so bear that in mind if you're ever taking away any break time from children also bear in mind that if you've got children that have got adhd or autism or things like that then they need that break time so actually you're just going to make it harder for yourself in the next lesson if they haven't had that break so try and think of something else that could be a consequence for them and then finally you're looking at team points and um, class dojo that kind of thing so I think these work really well when there are group and individual incentives if there are only the group incentives then those individuals who work really hard but they never win because they're in a group with maybe the other people who don't will be completely demotivated and frustrated so um, what we would do is we'd have the group with the most points get for example 10 minutes extra play in, in the week whereas the individual each term with the most in every class will get a special prize such as a high tea with their teacher there could also then be silver and bronze prizes which aren't quite as special as that so then they've still got the incentive to do well on their own even if their team aren't doing particularly well so I hope that gives you a bit of a taster of some of the main reward schemes. I personally think the ladder one works the best, but give it a try and then see what works and what doesn't. And if you find there are problems, like where the rainbow thing was starting on the sunshine, then just try and adapt it and see if it works better with the example of starting everyone on the top and then just moving down. Um, what is also really helpful with the ladder one is just try and link it up to your escalation ladder in your behaviour policy the you know the, the below green bit because then you're on the same level as the kids so for example in your behavior policy if it says um after two warnings they miss their play after three warnings they exited from the class after four warnings they exit the head teacher have that on your ladder because then you haven't got to have a separate thing that you refer to the kids can see it you can see it you're all on the same page so I hope that's really helpful. Any questions or any further advice that you would like, please do comment below and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.